this is an instructor uh, seminar, instructor certification course. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate one of the prescribed pails exercises for uh, the treatment of plantar fasciitis, the rehabilitation of plantar fasciitis. Okay. So <clears throat> we've gone through, we've given our functional range release, we've done our treatment, we've, uh, and then we have to give uh, the person some exercises to do at home. So from this position here, uh, what I'm going to have the person do is I'm going to have the person lean down in order to pretense the plantar fascia. Okay? As they're pretensing the plantar fascia, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the patient to isometrically activate the toes. Uh, uh, translate? In this way, uh, in this position, we try to put the patient in a pre-activation of the muscles of the fascia plantar. Okay. He'll contract and hold for as long as he can uh, do so comfortably with as much force as can be generated comfortably. Quando il piede è con i muscoli della fascia plantare contratti, ci sono molte forze che generano queste tensioni a livello plantare. And then, when the patient is asked to relax, he'll sink deeper by sitting further back into the stretch. Quando viene chiesto al paziente di rilassarsi, si chiede di sedersi leggermente verso i talloni. So by doing so, we will uh, decrease or um, de uh, decrease the spindle sensitivities or the mechanoreceptor sensitivities going through the neuromuscular barrier in order to effectively put the stretch tensile forces, forces into the uh, fascia, the non-contractile tissue. Okay? Questo rilascia le tensioni a livello di stimoli e provoca un rilasciamento della fascia a livello generale della fascia. Stand up for me. Okay? So, once again, we get the person in this position. Okay? They sit back against here. Contract, hold, as long as they can. When I say, when the, when the person relaxes, they sit further down. In order to tense that fashion. So with the contraction, we're increasing the, uh, the piezoelectric effect in order to uh, strengthen the, uh, the collagen, in order to uh, align the collagen fibers after we've done our treatment of breaking down the scarred collagen. Uh, we're going to put the piezoelectric effect so that the fibroblasts lay down collagen in, in better lines. Uh, we're going to increase the strength of the foot which will help to support the arches and to take pressure off the plantar fascia, as well as uh, further elongate or lengthen the fascia by getting over the neuromuscular barrier. 